Hello friends and welcome back for another episode of Indie Impressions, my name is Nick, and today we're going to be checking out a game called Boca. Uh, it was designed by Damon Chandler and Aaron Lemke. This is from the Indie Speedrun 2013 competition, a bit of a game jam. Uh, the theme was Focus and the Element is Stairs. So if you're wondering what is this going to be about, well, it is a first-person puzzle exploration game with a touch of the surreal or the abstract, uh, depending on your perspective on it, and it is a pretty cool concept from the little bit I've seen. Uh, the word bokeh, if you're not familiar, uh, is basically what happens when a lens try, or it's describing what happens when a lens tries to capture a point of light, but it's out of focus. So the whole game is sort of focused around, if you'll pardon the use of that word there, uh, <laughs> the concept of light being a little bit off, or there being uh, chunks of the world that are a little bit out of focus and actually aid you in some sort of a puzzle progression. So I'm not really sure how it works just yet but I am eager to have a look and see if maybe we can make a little bit of progress in this one. Uh, one thing I have to say, though, right off the bat, the title screen, uh, really hard to tell, but there's actually uh, the word begin underneath where it says element. Uh, it's just kind of hidden by the uh, the color scheme here, which is actually quite nice. It's like a frosted glass, almost looks like what you'd see on like a, one of the new iOS 7 background wallpapers or something. Everything's got that sort of pearlescent quality to it, uh, and things are just very, uh, you know, hazy out of focus, which makes a lot of sense thematically, and the title is actually kind of almost hidden as well. So let's start it up and have a look around. So this is a game that is actually playable for free in the Unity web player right now. Uh, there will be a link, of course, in the description if you want to have a look. And we will be doing our best here to try and understand what it is that we actually need to do to progress. So there are uh, a whole bunch of these little blocks that seem to have chunks of light contained within them, which is actually it's a really cool effect. It almost looks like a floating fish tank or something. Uh, with a little bit of pink and purple peeking around in there. Uh, so there's a bunch of doors, and they all seem to have locks on them. And then there's a pile of keys all over the ground over here. Now, I'm not sure what that all means. I mean, obviously, it would seem to be that, you know, you'd want to grab one of these and see if you could maybe open a door, but I think that seems a little bit too easy, so I have a feeling this is not going to be the way things work out. I'm not sure what's up with the structure, why we seem to be in some sort of a coliseum uh, type place with these little chunks of the world that are all blurry, but I kind of like that we have no idea. This uh, always aids in the surreal nature of a game like this when it's all presented to us a little bit out of context, and the music, I have to say, really, really soothing, calming music, and it just sort of reminds me a little bit of Minecraft, actually. Alright, so I've got the block, uh, whatever this thing is, happens to have made this door in focus. Now, I'm not sure exactly what that means. What if I put this down? Okay, it goes out of focus, and I can't actually throw this through there. But I can take this block outside. Can I do anything with it, though? I can, I can throw it. Now, what if I try and pick up one of these keys and see if we could maybe use this? Now that we know that's, like, the clear one, does that do anything? I'm not sure if there's, like, specifically a use button. I know it said E, but that only works when the item is lit up. And it doesn't seem like I can make it face the right direction, so I'm not sure what to do about that. Uh, I guess I'll just sort of, like, sit that key there, and we'll, we'll look around a little bit more, see if we can make more sense out of things. What if I take this block and bring it over to this square, see if maybe there's something else going on entirely? Or what if I swap for a different block and see if things get better then? Alright, so none of the doors seem to light up. Oh, okay. Got it. So that key... Wait, which key? There's two there. The one facing left with the end facing left. Oh, it's actually piled in with two other ones, but I can tell which one it is. Alright, so that might be the one that goes with that door that I've laid the other key up against. Let's see if that actually works, though. Oh, it did. It went right in. Alright, that was actually pretty easy. I thought there was going to be more to it than that. Uh, what happens now? Do I just leave? Oh, I go to the next room, I guess. Alright, so that was simple. It looked like there was a lot going on there. Uh, but I guess we only needed to concern ourselves with a couple of things. So now we have a larger scenario going on in front of us. Very pretty, actually. I really like the aesthetic of this game. The only thing that I think really stands out is maybe this brick wall off in the distance. Oh, okay, we've got an invisible floor scenario uh, going on that we're going to need to probably look at one of these blocks that can maybe help us see a path through them or something. I like how everything's just, like, smoothed off silver. And a lot of the time, that's usually just because that's, like, the default way that Unity does things... Uh, and actually, well, this is not the most attractive thing. There's a little hole up above that geometry, but, you know, I get the idea. Uh, but I like these pillars, and I like how everything seems almost pseudo-futuristic. 
uh, but in sort of like a Greek way, if that makes any sense. It's like it's both futuristic and classical at the same time. And the concept here is entirely foreign, so it almost seems maybe just alien. Now let's grab one of these blocks and see what, if anything, I can do with this information. Maybe I'll carry... Oh, okay. Actually, just carrying that through there lets me see, hopefully, the blocks that are revealed to be the true ones. So I can actually see a path on the left that seems to start up against the wall. And then somehow I need to navigate the rest of it, though, which is going to be tricky, uh, considering I can't really see it all. So let's see if we can use this to maybe get back to the beginning. Oh, okay. We can see from here, though. Yeah, that is going to be pretty hard to remember, but I'm going to try. So it's like... something like this? Nope. Okay, it was like the next one over. Kind of trusting there that I was going to need to take that block with me in case maybe I could get into that center uh, Boca spot and see about maybe using that. I was hoping that these blocks up above would have something to do with the puzzle, but it seems like maybe they don't. Uh, and there is more going on across the way as well, so I have to be aware that this might not be the end just yet. Now, if I go out and back in, that seems to make them appear. Uh, I could try to jump some of this. What if I take the other one? Does that change anything? Seems like pretty much the exact same scenario either way. As long as I have one of them, that's all that counts. So if I go to uh, one, two, and then over one, then up one, then I should be able to jump across and up one. Hopefully I can jump that far. It's kind of hard to map this in your mind, though of exactly where you can step and where you can. I think I need to jump all the way across to that one across the way there. It might be too far. Oh, yeah, I'm pretty sure that is too far, actually. I might have to take a better way than that. Jumping is not my character's strong suit, evidently. Regardless, though, still a cool concept. I'm enjoying it so far. I mean, this might not be the most developed full game or anything, but that is entirely reasonable considering this is a... Uh, you know, game jam, which, you know, most of the time these games, uh, they don't happen to be the longest thing. Uh, what happens here? So now I'm realizing I can't probably jump over a tile. So how do I actually handle this? Because, well, maybe the spot in the center is actually safe. I'm gonna trust that that is the case. So I just have to memorize how many tiles I can go in each one. So it's four, then four, then three. And then I should arrive, hopefully, at the center point. I can't really tell because you can't see them both at the same time. So I'm going to go four over. One, two, three, four. Over one. Two, three, four. Over one. Oh, wait, it was three, right? But was it counting the... Oh, I already forgot. Okay, we're safe. So now from here, I can actually see hopefully a path that's going to take me all the way to the end. Uh, yeah, that does actually take me to the end. So I need to take... I believe it's this route right here. If I could... S I'd love to see both at the same time. I can't really do that, though. So I need to count these out again. So we got one, two, three, one... Well, I'll count the corners, too. So one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, and then over one and one. Okay, so three, five, over, and then I'm there. This isn't really that hard, it's just it's hard for me because it's hard to keep my concentration at the same time. So one, two, three, four, five, over one, and we are at our goal. Beautiful! Okay, so we made it through. Can I jump and reach this? I actually can. What is the point, though? Is there any point? I can't really, like, grab this block, right? I'd be curious to see if I could. Oh, no, I can. Hey, I pulled the white one out. What can I do with this? cool music. It's like, it's changing up a little bit. It's a little bit more complex now. Uh, this white block doesn't seem to do much here. Oh, geez, it made me fly up in the air. I guess it's like the equivalent of block rocket jumping or something. Block it jumping. Uh, what's going on here? This is strange. Can I take the yellow block again now that I've left that area? I kind of don't want to fall through the floor and have to do that again, although I guess I could kind of just memorize the path once I've done it a few times. Now I should hopefully be able to see a key. No, there are no keys on display here unless I need to exit and rejoin. Or it could be behind that green platform there that I can't really see. I'm gonna kind of hope that that is a real solid object if I stand on it, because I don't want to fall through. Okay, it is real. But how do I see... 
which key is the right key, and which door is the right door. Do any of these blocks help? Maybe I took the wrong block with me all the way through? Maybe I need a combination of the blocks to exist in this space before I can see through? It's cool how you just unleash them and they just sort of hover around in this space. I might have just not seen the key properly, but no, then again, I would see one of the doors pretty clearly regardless. Mm. Are there any more blocks? Okay, I guess there's that one there. Can't do much about those up in the ceiling. We'll get all of them together, and then we'll, after that, I guess we'll just have to try experimenting. See if I've done something wrong. Oh! Oh, no, that was just the other yellow block. It was so bright it confused me. Okay, I guess we don't have much recourse here other than to just keep going. Uh, trying all the keys on all the doors? Uh, that seems awfully frustrating, though. Trial and error does not seem to be the right way to go here. Also, I don't think I can try all the keys on all the doors, just considering... Uh, I don't think I can reach all of them from here. So maybe the issue is something else entirely. Um, so how would I get to these, then? There's gotta be another block or something else I didn't do. Hmm. Very curious. I must have just missed something, right? I would think that all of these things are, are all the tools that I would need to make progress here. Anything else I can deal with on this end? Not really. I think I took all the stuff out of the center, the, the block from this, the very beginning is out. It's really just these ones up in the ceiling, which are a little too high for me to reach anyway. Oh, and then there's these also. I wonder if this... If I have the right block in the right spot, maybe I can see a path that would lead me up to another area. Uh, I could try, I guess, the white one? I don't remember if I messed with this one enough. I don't actually know, like, what all the different solutions could be, even, like, what these could do to change uh, the way the game is played. If I carry one of these to the right spot, who knows what could happen. Uh, I was sort of associating that the yellow one had to do with the key, just because, you know, light colors and all of that. Uh, but that doesn't seem to be the case, or at least it isn't now, coincidentally. Well, there are a couple more keys. Maybe I am designed to just trial and error through this spot, and then maybe one of these will open up a door that will open up another way to go, or something. No, because I can't reach over there. So it's really just the three keys, and that's it. Still, though, really nice music all the way through. It's definitely a very soothing experience. Uh, so the music combined with the art direction, I think, pretty positive work, and in general, really enjoying it. Um, yeah, there's nothing I'm going to be able to do about that. I can't really climb up these. Really don't want to just fall in, though. Well, I'm not really sure what to do, but you know what? That's fine. Uh, we'll leave a little bit of the mystery for you guys to solve. Maybe it was painfully obvious. I don't know. Oftentimes that seems to be the case. Can I throw keys off the edge by the... Oh, I can. I certainly hope they respawn. Otherwise, that would be a, be a bit of a game-breaking issue, wouldn't it? Especially with all these holes and all the geometry that you can just drop things through. Uh, kind of doesn't look like it did. At least at this point it didn't, which is pretty bad. So I guess don't drop keys off the edges or you're going to be sorry. And carrying the key in doesn't seem to do anything either, right? No. Oh well. Alright, so I guess that's gonna do it for Boca then. Oh! All of a sudden now I can see this key here. Why is that? I can see the key and the door. Was I... Maybe I just needed to go back in and back out again. Well, that's strange. So now we know the answer, but I'm not sure how I execute it anyway. Because I can't really reach over there, so... I don't know. Mystery is still in the air. Uh, I guess I will try the green one again. Oh! It made it go up. What on earth have I done? Alright, they're all changing places now, so I guess we're good. I just need to figure out how to- oh. Well, that was really bad. I thought they were gonna stay moving, and I guess it was just while I was standing in that spot. So, now I can't really get back over there, and I think I might have to just forfeit anyway. But now we know the solution anyway, so that's good. Um, I would definitely say I recommend this one if you guys want to check it out. 
uh, you can go ahead and grab it in the link. It is totally free. Ugh, I really don't want to fall off of here, but I may as well. Oh, there's some kind of black cube down here. I don't know what that's about. Anyway, let me know what you think. I think this is a pretty cool puzzle adventure game. Very obtuse, but very soothing at the same time. And I think it's a nice mix. I like games like this quite a bit. So if you know another one like this, feel free to let me know in the comments, or just let me know your impressions in general. I'm always here to have a discussion. Oh, I actually made it up. I didn't think I could jump that high. Well, I guess I just sort of stopped caring, right? And then the uh, the door was, like, over there, I think. So even still, I'm not gonna, I don't think, be able to reach up to the top part. Yeah, no, it's not happening. It's not happening. All right, so we get to play that game over that level again. But anyway, thank you everybody for being here. I do appreciate you watching, as always. Uh, so if you'd like to leave any comments, suggestions, questions, criticisms in the comments, that's all appreciated. Feel free to go check out all of my other social media links, as well as indie-impressions.com, and I will leave you with a short outro in this uh, lovely day and not go uh, the usual 10 miles out of my way to tell you about every possible thing. But anyway, thank you. Please be sure to come back again tomorrow. New episodes every single day. And I will see you then. Have a lovely night. Later.